guys! My name is Mariam and I am a new time mummy um, of a nine week old little baby boy called Yahya. He, not in the sleep head, in a um, mamaroo. So if he wakes up, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to go. So I thought I would start vlogging, mummy vlogging, and um, do a few videos on essentials for babies, uh, loads of other little videos just to help new mummies out and um, first time mummies. I stopped working when I was three months old. Uh, three months old? I'm really bad with words, so I don't know why I'm near this as well. But I stopped working when I was three months pregnant, um, and since then I've just been researching so much stuff for baby and um hopefully kind of know what i'm talking about so this is all essential stuff that i have used up until this day so this video is for top 15 i've got a little notepad here to help me out because i tend to have a short-term memory after having a baby as you all might too um so top 15 stuff that i think are crucial for the first few weeks of baby and it just help you get through it. First thing I would say uh, that is a must have, so an essential is a sleepy head. Looks like this. This is a zero to eight months. It comes in at eight to 36 months. I got this from John Lewis. This is a sleepy head deluxe plus. Um, he is currently outgrowing it, which is really shocking. Um, so the bottom I actually have to open so you can open this. So if you're do have a tall baby you can just open it and flop their legs out um but it is mainly to make them feel like they're in the womb um it helps them sleep longer i get and i know a lot of mums are going to be like what the hell but i get six hours sleep every night from my baby put him in here he feels like he's in a little cocoon in mum's tummy it's 100 percent breathable really really safe they can do tummy time at the top here change the covers sorry i'm talking really fast <laughs> They can change the covers. I've got so much to go through. Um, I've got a white one and this chevron one. And it is good to get a spare cover. So if you are looking to get one, get a spare cover. Um, because if they get it dirty, you can just put the new cover on and just wash the other one whenever you do your washing. Which is what I do. I can't be dealing with doing the washing the same day. Second thing is um, nursing pillow. I got this. This is called the Widgey. I think that's how you say it, I don't know. But the Widgee, it was, it's a removable cover. It was, I think it was about 16 pounds. I got it from TK Maxx. So you can get these kind of things from TK Maxx um, as well, because they are in John Lewis for like 25, 30 quid. They're 30 quid, I think, in John Lewis. But this is good for tummy time, for breastfeeding, uh, for bottle feeding as well. So if you're bottle feeding, easy, you just put him on there. And also if you had a cesarean, it's so good for like not lifting so much. So now he's like nine weeks. I still, I bring, bring him down. I don't have a Moses basket. The Moses basket that I wanted, um, I'll put a link on, but it was so cool. And it, but it was um, sold out at that time. So I didn't get it. And now he's like nine weeks. What's the point? I just put him on there on the sofa and he's absolutely fine. Anyway, so the next thing are swaddles and muzzies. So this is a Aiden and Anai swaddle. I think this one my cousin got me actually, but um, I've got so many of these. They're so soft. The more you wash them, the softer they get. These are the, uh, oh, I've already got it knotted up. Um, these are the swaddles that I use. I also use them as a nursing thing. So when I'm out in public, I will tie it around my neck and nurse baby. Um, you can use them, lie, put it down wherever for tummy time, just on top of stuff. If you're a germaphobe, it, it's so multifunctional, it's crazy. So definitely get swaddles and swaddling them at night is so important to help them feel like they're in the belly. Coming on to my next point is the wrap, which does the same trick. So good. I got this one from John Lewis. It's called the Je Porte Mon Bebe Basic. I don't think that's how you say it, but I think it's a French brand. I don't know. Um, anyway, I can use it when I'm walking around the house, feeding baby, cooking, um, cleaning the house. Um, the next item is Bert's Bees. Now, I've got this as well, actually. So this is the um, shampoo and wash. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, you get, sorry, I need to do my nails. 99.9% um, natural ingredients and 0.1%, I don't know what. It smells really good, it's natural. Johnson stuff. I've heard so many reviews on it. So many bad things. They use chemicals in their products. I'm just not a fan. I just think it's 
too much for babies i'm into all this organic stuff i have organic i want baby to be organic i can go into this forever but organic stuff is the way to go so make sure you guys like stock up and also anyway diaper ointment burt's bees is really good as well uh it is a bit thick so the pseudocreme is a nice thin layer but this came in a pack so i'm just trying to finish it off at the moment but um it's really good but definitely make sure you've got some nappy ointment that brings me on to my next thing water wipes these are so good 99.9 percent .9 water 0.1 percent fruit extract they are on the expensive side i think they're about two pounds 70 a pack are so good so soft on their skin you can use them from when they're just born pampers and huggies i find they dry up you leave the tip of this open they will still be wet like the last tissue in here will be wet it will not be a dry tissue and i know in pampers and huggies you'll get dryness i know a friend of mine puts it next to the radiator just to dry them out or warm them up a bit so they are expensive but if you get go to the baby show you can get it for one pound 64 or something away. the next thing is a breast pump so when you first have a baby you will have so much milk coming into your boobs these are the, this is a breast pump um the first three days you get colostrum which is basically better than private education apparently and i was dying to try and get some but it doesn't come out it take it's like drops because the first three days your baby's tummy is about that big it's the size of a little marble um so they don't need that much but couldn't get any but after three days your milk comes in i could go on about it forever so if anybody wants me to do a review let me know um anyway the next thing is an app on your phone so it's the awesome baby app it helps you record uh diaper feeding everything and you can have it for different babies i don't know if you can see it on here um breastfeeding which side you breastfed on when they had a bath um did they have a wet diaper poopy diaper when you have a newborn the midwives will come over and they'll be like when was this last poo how many wet diapers has he done and you're you're like i don't know the midwife comes the next day you're like, what do you know it's just like all a blur. So recording on here, I look like a completely professional mum. Yeah, I was quite proud of myself, but I was cheating. It was on an app. What we're talking about breasts is um, the nipple shield. So it comes in a little packet like this. It's the Medela nipple shields, and um, they just help protect the nipple. If they're sore, bruised, um, cut, bleeding, protect them, let them heal, let baby still feed for a little plastic thing like this you just pop them on the boob and the babies can suck on top of it i'm not going to say it's pain free because it's not you can still feel it but it just helps your nipples heal like you just got to push through the pain and um, while we're on that actually um for nipple protection um the multi-man compressors you can get them from boots i use them one after the other these just help heal them they help them get back to normal when your baby is born they will have the longest nails you've ever seen in your life so make sure you take a pair of scissors with you um these are the tommy tippy ones um i feel like a makeup artist blogger you know when they move everything close to the camera <laughs> anyway um but it is just to show you that it's a beveled edge um when they come out they have such long nails They're like really really long really really soft and they scratch themselves like crazy my sister-in-law when she came down i think it was day three um i got her to cut his nails i was too scared to do it um so she did it and um then i kind of like got have to do it and i do it now every two three days because they baby's nails grow so much so this is a must for the beginning months the next thing is a and this is going to sound really weird but a syringe doesn't have a needle with it shock horror but it's just like a plastic edge so let me open this one so they come in like disp they're disposable so i use it and chuck it away so they're like this it's a five mil one but you use it for the cow pole paracetamol great great water infocol whatever they have I just put it in here and give it to them and nice and slowly in the side of their mouth must 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 i got a pack of like 500 from amazon for like five pound or something it's like a massive box so i just chuck them away after i've used them but you can buy a few and sterilize them wash them sterilize them and use them again uh, the next thing is the nose feeder really good when they're first born they have so much mucus so i use this it's a sucker um, it comes in a little box like this. You take it out, plop it on. It's got a filter so you won't get anything in your mouth because you got to suck from the red bit. 
suck it in, put it in their nose, it gets everything out. I use the Calcol nasal spray with it, uh, saline nasal spray, and it just softens the muc uh, the nose boogers or whatever. Uh, comes out so quickly, so quickly. We use this nearly every day. Like it is so, so helpful. The next thing is, so I was saying that I don't use gripe water because I found out what Infocol was. Infocol helps with colic, relieves wind and griping pain. So really, really good. I only figured this out, I think it was a few weeks ago, but it is so good, helps baby so much, uh, relieves wind, I put him up and he's done it, um, but straight away, really, really good. I think that is about it. Um, there's loads of other products I could go on forever, but these are kind of like the essentials that help me get through. Oh, he's waking up. These are the essentials that help me get through the first few weeks. So. Um, any more tutorials that you want let me know because I really want to start doing this vlogging stuff um, and sort of help people out get some um, hijabis out there but yeah subscribe like comment thank you so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you soon